do the things you do. Hey everybody, it's Charles and welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, hi, welcome in, yes. So today I will be reacting to Queen Nyjah's album. I think it's her debut album, Misunderstood. Um, you know, I've never actually really heard of this artist or really know anything about them. I've only heard the one song from her, Medicine. And beyond that, I have never really heard any songs from her. So this is going to be a very interesting experience learning about a new artist, which is what I'm trying to do on this channel, trying to listen to music that I haven't really heard. And I'm just like, yes. I was actually gonna do this album reaction when this album came out because when I was scrolling through iTunes I saw that she released this album and I was like why does that name look familiar and then I saw that she was the one who sang Medicine and I was like oh maybe I should listen to this album and then you know I got busy I got busy and I'm pretty sure this weekend this album came out it was the same weekend that Ariana Grande's album Positions came out so I was like very very busy with stuff to do so you know better late than never to get to this album so apparently this whole album is R&B, and you know, I like my some good R&B every once in a while, so mm, let's see if this is the good kind of R&B that I really like to listen to. Before I get into the whole album reaction, I'm just gonna say if you like my personality and you want to see music reactions or things relating to movies and other stuff that I want to talk about, which could be anything, then you should subscribe because yes, why not? Why not subscribe to another channel on YouTube during this pandemic for entertainment? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Subscribe. LOL, the lighting in this video is gonna be so bad because like it's dark here already and it's only like two in the afternoon but then again i'm living in washington it's raining so it's like you're gonna get those dark clouds and you know the sun's already going down so yeah lighting's gonna be bad i don't know should i adjust the ring light lighting but then it might flush me out i don't know okay so i made the ring light like brightness like a little brighter so hopefully this works and when i'm looking at post when i'm editing this i don't look so bad because uh, i hate looking bad when I like take pictures or film stuff but you know it's whatever it is whatever so there are 18 songs in this album and the first song is called intro and oh my god it's raining hard outside now Ugh, I really hope the like raindrops are not caught on the audio but then again the window is like right there um I don't know we'll see this is probably gonna be a mess like this is probably gonna be a mess she can't even sing. Like, all her new stuff ain't been that hot. Her voice is basic. She's just another pretty face with an average voice. And that's just a fact. She really let her pregnancy slow down her career. Oh, what's she pregnant? She still ha she'll never have another song like Medicine. At this point, oh, that's the one I heard. She'll be able to redeem herself. Okay, so that was the intro. And, huh. Uh, I mean, I really don't know anything about this artist, so... I'm just like, wow, those are really some harsh comments. Um, I looked up when Medicine came out, because that's the only song I've ever heard from her, and um, it said that song and the EP it came from came out in 2018. So, I mean, it's only been two years. I mean, why are people so annoying? Why are they so annoying, you guys? I don't understand. But why are they so mean? I, I don't understand. But then again, I don't know anything about her. But then again, they're being so superficially mean. So, uh, people suck. The next song on the album, which I guess is really, the, truly, like, the first song on the album, is called Too Much To Say. And I bet she has too much to say. She has probably a word to pick with y'all. She's probably gonna be like, Ariana Grande, shut up already. Come on, be quiet, stop talking to me. But, yeah, we'll see what the song is. Oh, well, they're the same age. So that was too much to say, and ooh, wow, the first true song of this album really already has me up in my feelings. Um, mm, very sad, very sad stuff that she's talking about, and uh, I just feel like people should get off her back. I mean, gosh, she's a human being, you guys. She has problems and stuff she has to deal with. Ugh. All in all, though, a beautiful song, a beautiful, like, real first track to open the album with. And yeah, I think this album's gonna be mellow. I really hope so, because the last album I did, which was Kylie Minogue's Disco, I'm just like, my neck was hurting for, like, days while filming that video and then editing it. And even after I already uploaded it, my neck was hurting. So 
I'm very down for an album that will just be mellow and for me to just chill to. The next song on the album is called I'm Her featuring Kiana Lede is how I think her name is pronounced. I guess so. I don't know. But yeah, that's the next song. She has such nice vocals. So that was I'm Her, and it was a nice song. I mean, I really liked her vocals, but yeah, I mean, it's a nice song. I love the vocals, love the production, and yeah, it was a very mellow song, and yes, that is what I thought of I'm Her. When she kept saying I'm Her, I'm like, her? As in, the, what, two-time Grammy winner her, herself, with the glasses, her? <laughs> but anyway, um, anyway, moving on to the next song, which is Pack Light. See, I don't got the time or the patience to deal with your shit today. If you don't get your act together, you might have to... She can never be me Just want someone that you do what you want But that'll never be me You can tell me that you hear me when you scroll it through your phone but This sounds like me Get out of your bad vibes Ooh, those harmonies mm. You don't get your act together You might have to Pack light Pack light, girl so that was Pack Light, and wow, that was a very good song. I love the lyrics of the song, and I love the vocals she gave. I love the harmonies in the song itself. Like, toward the end, I think around the bridge is when those harmonies really kicked in. But yeah, a really nice song, and it's pretty short too. It's only um, 2 minutes 57 seconds, so it's something that is very replayable. Mm -mm. Yeah, good song. But anyway, the next song of the album is called um, Lie to Me, yes, featuring... Um, Lil Dirk, whatever that is. I got no time to press you about them holes that you've been screwing up. My name ain't gonna fix it, so I'm still here. Nah, 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 no, 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 no. I don't like that little sound background that's like dun 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 dun. I don't like that. Right there, I don't like that. So that was Lie to Me, and eh, it was okay. I didn't really like the production. The vocals from Queen Nija were fine, um, but I didn't really like anything else really out the song. I thought the lyrics were just plain, and they weren't really that good. I felt the lyrics were kind of repetitive, but you know, that's just me. But yeah, I guess we're gonna move on to the next song, which would be um, Dream featuring Lucky Day. Let's see how this one goes. Hmm. Opening with the feature. Interesting move. Okay, she's finally joined the song and it's been almost a minute.
So that was Dreams, and I thought for the most part the song was just another okay song. Um, I didn't expect Lucky Day to have that long of a verse on the song. This was some Nicki Minaj on the Light Is Coming length of what he had in this song. And the song's only three minutes long, so he took up legit a third of the song. But yeah, I mean, overall it's an okay song. I thought the bridge was the best part. The lyrics on the bridge and the vocals on the bridge was pretty amazing, but you know, I don't think that salvages the song for me personally. Not saying the song is bad, I'm just saying that it was just an okay song. But yeah, let's move on to the next song, which is Love Language. Did I get that right? Yes, it's Love Language. Yes. Interesting opening so far. So that was Love Language, and yeah, I would have to say that this is another favorite from me off the album. I love the lyrics in the song, and yeah, it's a very slowed down song, but I don't know. I thought it was beautiful. Just listening to it, I was like, ooh, the lyrics are really getting to me. But yeah, I, I like the song a lot. But anyway, the next song on the album is um, Without You featuring Russ. What would I, do you? I don't know. Oh, there's Russ. I just need time. We can why one it's not that I can live without you and start to yeah. wanna try. This ain't I love you cause I need you, this I need you cause I love you. Yeah. Fuck being a trophy wife, but I feel like I want you. Yeah. Mutual respect is so sacred. No one wears the pants, we prefer to just be naked. But what would I do without you? So that was Without You, and it was a nice song. Not gonna say it was amazing or bad or anything, it's just nice. It's so far, we're about like, um, uh, I would say we're about halfway through the album right now, and mm, so far of the songs I've listened to, half of them I really like, and half of them I'm just like, they're fine. But we'll see where the next song lands, which is called, um, Say What You Mean. Say What You Mean, people. Mm. Mean what you say and say what you mean. Exactly. What you mean? So that was Say What You Mean, and yes, this is another song that I really enjoyed. Love the lyrics, and you know, once again, um, yeah, I know R&B songs are usually slow down, but yeah, this was kind of a slow song, but short, three minutes is the approximate length of this song, and yeah, I really enjoyed it. It really resonated with me, and yes. So anyway, moving on, the next song on the album is called Bitter Skit. Okay, so that was Bitter Skit, and I feel like we should just go right into Bitter, so we're just gonna go right into Bitter, because Bitter Skit, I was just like, ooh, words are being said, let's see how the actual song goes now. Finna get twisted with my friends, nigga fuck you in a bitch, I know what you been on, so I had to cut you off, try to give you good love, but you grind me, oh it's upbeat now. Oh it's upbeat now. 
behind me, in the back seat, in the rear view mirror. So that was Bitter, and I didn't know that the song featured Mulatto on it, but yeah, she's on this track, and oh god, I really do like the song a lot. Not only because I do love me a good upbeat song, but the lyrics were amazing. The song is just bad bitch vibes, vibes, vibes in general, and yeah, it really was refreshing. Refreshing is what I'll say for where it is in the album, like about halfway through this album, it's a refreshing song to hear in the album. But yes, I love it, and let's move on to the next song, which is One Time. Okay, so that was One Time, and I didn't know that there was a featured artist on this song, but the featured artist is Tusi. yes. But anyway, One Time, when I think about the song One Time, I think about Justin Bieber's song One Time, his hit song One Time that made him famous. But anyway, this song One Time, um, it's fun. I can't really remember, like, how it sounded, and I just heard it, but I vaguely remember the lyrics. I don't know why, but this song kind of just went right through my head. But yeah, I can't really say anything about it because for some reason I can't recall it. It's so weird. But anyway, we're gonna move on to pressure. Something's wrong. So that was Pressure, and at first when I was listening to the song, I was like, I feel like this is going somewhere, but then I feel like it just kind of stayed static, it kind of just hit its peak and it was just going the same, like it wasn't going up or down in my like like for the song, it just stayed in the same position. But I think the song is okay. Yeah, uh, anyway, let's move on to the next song, which is um, Five Seconds featuring Jacques, is that how you say it? I guess that's how you say it. She's for real this time, you guys. She's for real. I know so many times I've said the same thing before. Me too. I know so many times when I've been down on your roller coaster. Really don't it feel like it's over. Gotta probably give you a cold shoulder. One, two, three, four, five. Tension rising high. About to lose my mind. You didn't cross the line for the line. Okay, so that was five seconds and I think I really do like this song a lot. I think of what I really like this song for is Jacques. I liked his verse and I loved the vocals he was giving. Um, I don't know, the rest of the song is fine, but Jacques and his part in the song just really connected with me. 
I don't know why, but I just really liked what he brought to the song. But yeah, I like the song. Um, is it a favorite from the album for me? I gotta mull it over, but we're just gonna move on to the next song, which is Pretend. Beautiful. So that was Pretend, and I really love that song. Oh my god, the lyrics are beautiful. The vocals are amazing. Yeah, um, on this album, a lot of the songs that really get me are the ones that have really good lyrics, and this is just one of the songs on this album that has amazing lyrics, and in my opinion, this is one of the best songs on the album. And yeah, that's all I really have to say about this song. So we're gonna move on to the next song on the album, which is Trial and Error. I know. Do it yourself. So that was Trial and Error, and yes, oh my gosh, another great song from this album. Oh my god, two in a row. Who knew it could be happening? But anyway, really love the lyrics. Once again, the lyrics on this album, they are amazing. And the lyrics on this song are very personal, I could tell. And they really resonate with me, so you know making a personal song, but also making it kind of universal. That's how you know you made a banger. Not a banger, a hit, a good song, whatever. But anyway, I'm gonna move on to the next song, which is Butterflies Part 2. And I'm gonna assume that she has a song already called Butterflies, and maybe it's on her EP, the EP that has medicine on it. But anyway, this is Butterflies Part 2 we're gonna listen to now. So that was Butterflies Part 2, and I would have to say that this is just an okay song. I think I would have to listen to the first song, since this is a continuation, I think, of that song. Whatever song, um, whatever, I think it's called Butterflies. Well, of course it's called Butterflies, because this one's called Butterflies Part 2. But yeah, I think I had to listen to the song that she has called Butterflies for me to kind of like really get this song more but yeah i thought overall the song was just okay in general but yeah so yeah we're just gonna move on to the last song of the album now which is called beautiful okay nature interesting outro okay so with that we are now done with this album and I have to say it was a very nice cohesive piece of work it was very chill and very mellow and yeah I enjoyed myself listening to this album okay so my favorite songs on the album are too much to say pack light um, love language say what you mean bitter um, what else 
pretend and trial and error. And let me see, how many songs is that out of the album, not including the intro and the skit? in the middle. Um, so not including the intro and the bitter skit in the middle, I like about 7 of the songs in this album, and 7 out of 16 isn't that bad. It's a pretty good ratio, it's about half the album, so I think that's a pretty good ratio in my opinion. What about you guys? What songs did you like in this album, and did you like the album as a whole? Cause I actually really like this album, and we'll see where it falls in my ranking of albums from this year, and yeah. Okay you guys, thank you for coming to my channel and watching this reaction, and yeah! I will see you guys in the next video, so until then, bye!